Hey, Ocean Runner here. I'm out running on Odeon Point State Park Beach and um, I have come across a periwinkle shell. The cool thing about it is there is a hole in here that is perfectly round. It looks like somebody took a drill to it. Um, and I've seen a few more like that. So I'm curious as to what is doing this to these shells. So I'm going to talk to my friend Ashley Stokes at the Seacoast Science Center and see if I can learn more. Come join me. Hey Ashley, when I was out running today, I found these periwinkle shells and they had perfectly round holes in them. Do you know what would do that to a periwinkle shell? That is a great question and one we get pretty often. Uh, believe it or not, these holes are made by another snail. Uh, so these shells, both of what you have here, are periwinkles. So these are an herbivore snail, so these ones only eat plants. Uh, however, the ones that ate these animals were actually meat-eating snails or carnivores. Okay. Uh, and the way that they do it is pretty interesting. Um, they have adapted so that they can use their tongue, which is also called their radula. Uh, they spit out some of their stomach acid onto the shell to soften it up. And then they stick out their tongue and they literally use it like a drill. And they go back and forth with their tongue until they bo have bored a hole into the snail. Okay. Uh, and then once they're inside, they secrete or spit out more of that stomach acid to really kill the animal. Uh, and then they use their tongue, just like a straw, and they slurp it up right out of there. Uh, so these were made by dog whelks, which is a snail that looks just like these ones here, uh, but they have a whiter shell and they're more pointy. Uh, but there is also another type of snail that lives around here that's a lot larger that you might have seen. Uh, that is the moon snail. And they will also eat uh, things like uh, mussel shells, they'll eat clams, uh, so a lot of people will make necklaces out of those shells. Uh, but when you're on the beach, it's not uncommon to find these shells with the perfect circle holes, and that's why it happens. Well, aren't they little innovative creatures? <laughs> well, that's good to know. Well, thanks so much, you're Ashley. You're welcome. All right, gotta run.